Hey, what is going on everybody? My name is Adoris and welcome to another video, I guess. <laughs> One of the first things you've probably already noticed, new face cam border, it's real nice. Also, I am not at my house because the last video I uploaded, of course, was us moving out. Um, so we are still within the process of moving into uh, our new house, but until then, um, me and my family were like camped out <laughs> with different people of, in the family. So like I said, my sisters with my grandfather, my littlest sisters now with my uh, my parents. She went back with my parents and I'm here at my cousin's house. This isn't even my room. This is my cousin's room. We should be moving into our new house within about a week. Also, I am very sorry. I wasn't able to get videos up within the last, you know, three weeks ever since we moved out the house. I was going to make a Halloween video, but I couldn't because of reasons and I, I wasn't able to get it. So I will try to make up for that when I get the chance. But right now, what I do want to talk about is this 2020 election. Uh, this isn't going to be a really long video. I, I just want to make this brief and straight to the point. If you are wondering who I would have went for, of course, I'm, I'm only 17, so I can't vote, but I would have voted for Biden because when it comes to United States presidents, normally when, you know, they, they speak, a lot of times they speak to vision but they don't speak to plan they speak to what they would like to see in their presidency but they never usually have a plan so then all they have to do is get elected and then when they get elected then they come up with a plan in office but even if you do come up with a plan in office sometimes they don't initiate that plan immediately what i think you should do is if you are running for president you should be coming up with a plan during election and then right then right then and there when you're elected you could put that plan into motion that's if Congress agrees with it. Many people don't like Trump. Many people don't like Biden. When it comes to these two presidents, when it comes to Biden and when it comes to Trump, many times presidents, really all they really do is business. You know, money, economy, business. But many presidents don't really do much for society, for the people, for specifically for minorities, or in this case, black, black people. When it comes to those two presidents, Biden may do something, he may not do something. I read Biden's vision, which is his website, I think, and he has taken great acknowledgement of the things that are happening in the country when it comes to black people like George Floyd and police brutality and racial injustice and things like that. And just the, and you know, the police killing a lot of black people. So he's taken note of that. Um, when it comes, and like I said, when it comes to Biden, Biden may do something, he may not do something. We all know Trump isn't going to do anything, so it's best to get him out now. What's what's very funny about this election is that Trump knew he lost it. Trump knew he was going to lose. Trump knew he lost it, and he kept on like I, I saw some of his some of his speeches. He was like, "Oh, we won Texas," which I live in Texas, and I have no idea why over half of Texas voted for this dude. Texas was a red state. I was like. This must be all the white people in Texas that voted. I don't know why any Hispanic or African American would vote for this man. Like, he doesn't care about you. I don't know why any Hispanic here, specifically in Texas, would vote for Trump, considering the fact that he wants to build a wall to keep you out of your own land, which I do not get. So I don't know why any Hispanic, especially in Texas here, or in, really in any Southern part, would vote for him but some did. I don't know their motives as to why, but they did. Biden won this election fair and square. And Trump, Trump is an immature child. Trump is a 70 year old child in office right now. He tried to sue and uh, put lawsuits on some of the states that voted against him or some of the states that were majority voted for Biden. And he was like, oh, I demand a recount. Oh, um, I demand this, I demand that. Triple the counts, double the double the votes, whatever. He even tried to cut mail-in ballots. You know, like people who put their, their votes in the mail and they were still counting those, which I believe they still are. Because in my opinion, I think he knew he was going to lose. He knew that if all those mail-in ballots came in, he was gonna lose. And he actually tried to cut them and, and I saw his speech. He was like, yeah, we don't want nobody 4 a.m. in the morning counting votes. That's, you know, I was like, no, every vote counts. You can't just cut. You can't just cut everybody else's votes just because you want to win. You can't do that. And I don't think Trump is going to take this defeat lightly. I think that it might be a fight with him taking it, getting him out of uh, the White House. I 
Also pray to God that this doesn't start a civil war. It more than likely will not because a lot of times that's just, you know, the media and, you know, the hype and all that. But something tells me that Trump supporters right now are probably pissed, really pissed. I remember yesterday they basically kind of, they called it, they called it yesterday that Biden would be the president elect. He's not president yet. I don't think not until he's inaugurated, which is, I believe, in January. But he he is elected and he will be our president. And like, look at this. Like, I remember yesterday it was in the morning. My mom actually came to visit yesterday. So I, I was chilling with her and then my cousin come out. Biden won. I'm like, whoa, what? And then I look at the votes. He has over two two 270. I think at the time he had like 280, which was when I looked at the votes was way past the electoral votes to be president. And Trump wasn't not Trump, Trump, Trump lost. And right then and there, I was like, yes, Biden won. And I even uploaded on my on my Instagram. You can go watch that. Biden was past that electoral mark. I also remember looking at some of the live streams on, I think it was ABC, or it was like live streams on YouTube of people in New York and Washington, D.C., and many of the major cities in the country just celebrating. When was the last time in, especially during COVID, you saw people celebrating, just straight up celebrating, like, People didn't even care about COVID anymore. Everybody still had masks on, but they were all still huddled up together. But still, when was the last time you saw people celebrate? Just no pro, they weren't even protesting. No protesting, like n no protesting, no, no fighting, no bickering, no arguing, no, none of that. Just when was the last time, especially since COVID started, when was the last time you saw it? many many people just celebrate, just celebrate something good. But we also have, what's her name? Camilla Harris the our first i think the first female vice president in history in u in, in united states history now and she's i think half black and half asian but that's black still that's some black in office some more black in office it's real good to have that my grandfather on my mom's side he always tells me this he's like pay great attention uh, pay close attention to what's happening right now because you are literally living united states history you are living history book stuff 50 years from now my have i lived that long my grandkids will be learning about this in school and they'll come to ask me you lived during this time what did what did you do this is the first presidential election to ever go on through a pandemic first female vice president and she is half black so i guess you can kind of count that as the first african-american vice president or whatever however you want to take it but this is united states history that we are all living right now that me that i'm living my family is living my cousins are living everybody my age is living this is like the future generation you know we're living this this is we're living history at the same time i really hope that biden because like i said i read his website and i read some of the stuff that he was talking about and i really hope he has a plan or at least is currently making a plan because he's going to be elected so i hope he's making that plan now and when he's inaugurated he puts that plan into, into play but i really hope he really has a plan to fix some of the issues some of the controversies and some of the things in this country because the main controversy i think that many presidents should focus on Put business aside, put money aside, put economy aside for a second and focus on the people and society. We need to focus on racial injustice and race because that is America's weakness. That's America's Achilles heel. If you ever want to, if anybody, if anybody ever wants to destroy America from the inside out, they will use race to do it because that is our Achilles heel. So race needs, race is a problem in this country that needs fixing. And I really hope that Biden does that, or at least, like I said, many times they don't, many times presidents speak to vision and not plan, but I hope he is at least coming up with a plan right now. So I really, really hope um, he doesn't waste his presidency. I really hope he actually does something really great for the country. Um, and also, I really hope that they don't get assassinated. The one thing you know, the one thing you notice about people when they are assassinated, they were doing something right. Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, um, Kennedy, Lincoln, you know, all those people, even just more, more greater people in United States history that were assassinated. They were doing something right in this in a country like this. If you get killed, 
you you were doing something normally you were doing something right if you are a great figure amongst people and you stand for everything right you stand for everything morally right you stand for righteousness you stand for just overall goodness or greatness and you get killed that means that you were doing something correct now if you're like a leader of like a hate a, a big hate organization or hate group or something like that like if you like if you're the leader of the Ku Klux Klan or something you best believe no one's gonna kill you because normally in a country like this it's almost like bad is becoming good. Yesterday was a very refreshing day for me, especially considering the fact of COVID and me going back to school now. I've, I'm, I've been in school about three weeks now. So I've been in, I've been going back to school three weeks now. I like, I wake up in the morning with my cousins, get dressed and our bus stop is just down there. But um, this has been a really refreshing uh, time for me. Uh, it's it's giving me it's almost given me like a peaceful vibe like some of the stress that I had is evaporated in a way when I saw that Biden was elected president and not Trump I'm not gonna lie I was scared for a second because at first I was seeing all the states that had voted for Trump and it was a lot of them he got a lot of the central states you know the states in the middle but Biden was smart and he went around he went around even though the northeastern states you know like maine new york all that those are very small states but he got all of those he, he got a whole bunch of those he even went over hawaii and i think he won california too but he won a lot of the states around you know and he let trump have all the ones in the middle and he went he he went around so that's really good to see and he was smart for that he he got all the states around the central states that's all that really matters you don't have to get the majority you just have to get the states around that matter you can have all the ones in the middle i'm just going to get all the ones that that are around you but biden won this election i'm very glad he did now now that he is president i really hope that he doesn't waste it and he doesn't just take up space he actually does something and since he has um camilla harris and i think he also has obama on his side um, I really hope he does something. I really hope he does something for society and for the people. And specifically, I would really love me and my family. I'm pretty sure every other African-American. We would all love to see him put a firm stand to systemic racism, to, um, to racial injustice, to police brutality, to the unjust killing of African-Americans. And we really hope, I really hope I see that. I just hope he like I said, he doesn't waste his presidency. He doesn't just take up space and he actually does something in his election. Um, I'm only 17, so there's a lot more maturing and there's a, not, uh, a lot more knowledge and all that that I still have to undergo. But right now, I am quite impressed with our country at the moment. Many times I've been disheartened by the by the choices that the people in this country make but so far i it seems that my faith has been restored in a way that biden has now won from the majority of the votes in this country he has been the most voted president in history i think i don't know but he, he, again this is historical stuff this is history book stuff i'm living right now and i'm really taking note and really paying attention to it because it's really going to matter later in life or if not to me maybe to my children or my grandchildren or whatever but that's it for me um i don't really have much much to much to really answer for besides uh biden winning and i really hope he really does something but other than that i'm gonna go um we should be in our new house in about a week um, currently they are getting ready to inspect our house or the, well, they already inspected it, but in fail, it failed inspection because the workers didn't do something right from what I know. So they're going to reinspect. And my dad's also getting uh, a new deal on our mortgage. So we, I think basically we're going to be paying less for the house, but whatever. And basically everything is just about starting to wrap up within about a week we should be either moving into the house or everything should be closing for us to be moving into the house but anyways i'm gonna go so it's a great thing that biden won and it might be a fight to get trump out of the out of office but he he's packing up his stuff he's gonna have to pack up his stuff and he's gonna have to go <laughs> it's that time he's gonna have to go but yeah i'm gonna go anyway so 
hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out